Okay, let's talk about Makai versus Cap. I didn't even watch that fight, actually. Which is funny. I didn't watch it, but I heard about it. I was watching Deadpool and Wolverine. Great movie, by the way. If you haven't seen it already, go see it. Um, But I did not trust my gut. I was originally going to go with Makayev, even if it was controversial. I had a feeling that it was going to go this way. I had a feeling that Manal Cop was going to lose this fight. I, I just felt it in my gut that Manal was going to lose a close fight. That Makayev was going to make it boring and was going to stalemate. And find a way like he always does with this Dagestani plot armor, bro. I mean, Bilal's not Dagestani, but again... He's got that Muslim plot armor, bro. These Muslim fighters are destined for greatness, I swear. They're like the main characters of the UFC. Makachev, Khabib in his time, now Islam. Uh, and, you know, Makayev. Umar Nurmagomedov is on his way, too. I'm sorry, guys. He's beating Corey. And, yeah, even... Um, Magomedenko alive too. I think he's coming for Politan. I Maybe not, but... <laughs> Uncle Live might become champ. I'm just saying, man. These Dagestanis keep finding a way. Bilal's not daggy, but still. These Muslims, Dagestani or not, Chechenian or not, or whatever Rachmanov's nationality is or not, these guys are just on top. And they are reigning supreme. So I just knew based off that he was gonna Makai was gonna win. But he may have beat but he may have beat Cop tonight, but he, he may not be in the UFC any longer. He's a free agent. He said the UFC doesn't like him wrestling and stalemating, so he did what they didn't want him to do. They, The UFC, they apparently don't realize this is a mixed martial arts organization, not kickboxing, so yeah, they're disrespecting Makayev and they're just going to cut him despite the fact that he's literally undefeated and undefeated in the UFC. Makayev was arguably going to, or not arguably, but... He was initially supposed to be the front runner to fight Pantoja if he were to beat um, Alex Perez in March. But because the UFC didn't like his performance, that it was not exciting, and that he arguably robbed Perez, they picked Steve Ursag. And they should have picked Makaya because Makaya was literally ranked higher. Makaya arguably could still get a title shot. But that depends on if they keep him in the UFC. And I think Makayev could definitely beat Pantoja. I think Amir Albazi could also beat Pantoja as well. Dagestan owns Brazil. Um, like Makachev. Shout out Makachev Oliveira. Um, so yeah. But yeah, I guess maybe Tatsura Taira, whatever his name is. I'm, I butchered his name, I know. The Japanese guy who came from Risen. I guess he'll fight um, Pantoja for the belt. Um, once they release free agent Muhammad Makai. But I feel so bad for Cop because he's just been so unlucky in his career. I mean, constantly having fights falling through. Either his opponents are pulling out or he's pulling out. He botched that fight with Nicolau twice, which I think Camp was going to win that fight with Nicolau. And he was promised a title shot if he was going to win. If he was going to win, he was going to fight for the belt which is so sad if he was gonna win he was gonna get a title shot and he could have fought pantoja he had a good chance at beating pantoja but he came all this way he had all this bad luck just to lose to makayev another big setback i don't know what's gonna happen with cop now i mean he can probably work his way back and he'll probably bounce back but i don't know if he's gonna be getting a title shot anytime soon i can't say good fight but good win for makayev i wish i did not switch my pick uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments